Hi Aries, this week we are checking into your past lives and we are going to see which past life is affecting this life and the relationships that you have in it as well. Um, we're also going to check, there might be a specific person that comes up and uh, we're going to be checking that energy as well and seeing who they were to you in a past life and then it will give you a better understanding of why certain things are occurring in this lifetime as well. So let's get started guys. Extended reading, I'm going to be checking into what spirit guides have got to say with regards to um, advice about what you should do to try to heal or even to try to keep moving things in a very positive direction. Um, past life connections usually um, are associated with lessons that are not yet finished being learned. So that's what we're going to check into in the extended and see how you can make positive um, movements to change what is currently happening or even keep what is currently happening depending on what is currently happening. So let's get started. Aries, <clears throat> I hope you like this form. I've had a couple of people ask me to do past life um, uh, readings because I sometimes do them for personal readings, so it's always very, very interesting. So how I'm going to do this for you guys, I'm going to start out with your energy and then see who you were and then move into another energy and see who your person was and then check the lesson and see how you guys are currently relating to each other in this lifetime. So let me explain to you one thing. You can live many, many lifetimes, okay? It's not an unusual thing. Um, you may, it, it's not going to be your, maybe your, the last life that you live. You can live maybe four or five lifetimes and it's literally that the fifth lifetime from way behind that is affecting this lifetime. It's not like a, a something that, look at that, the strength card just came up. It's not like something that just, um, that just came in. Be aware, it gets weird when we go down past lifetime um, road. So what I can tell you is sometimes it can even, uh, you may not be the same sex, you may not be, uh, you know, the same nation, the same race, anything. So let's have a look and go in. I've got an energy that's representing you. So I want to see, whoo, that was very quick. And they want three cards, so we are going there. They want to show a connection that you've had with somebody from a past lifetime, who you were. Um, you, on your energy, you got the strength card with the nine of inspiration card being here. So what I can tell you one thing, um, I feel like you, in a past lifetime, you were a leader, uh, you were very strong because of the strength card being there, but you didn't trust absolutely anybody. Um, for a funny reason, I do feel like if you are a woman in this lifetime, this may have been you in an energy of a male energy. I'm just, I warned you, I warned you, but I'm picking up a male energy here, and it is in your energy. It is normal, guys. It is normal. Um, you were not trusting. I feel like you were in charge of a lot of people. You may have been an elder or a even somebody who ruling over a land or an area of where people were. And um, the person that is connecting with you in this lifetime was with you in this lifetime as well, but their energy was very different. Um, I don't think the two of you, now, you need to check the people that you are dealing with in this lifetime, because I'm gonna start speaking about something from a past lifetime that's gonna make connection to somebody in this lifetime. This is where the connections come in. The person that you are, were dealing with in a past lifetime, we're gonna see what this relationship was. This person came from another place. They were not from where you were. We've got the three of wands energy. This is a traveler. And they were a traveler, like just without thinking, uh, where you had like a lot of responsibilities. They kind of didn't have a lot of responsibilities. It's not that they denied their responsibilities. They just didn't ever get into the place of having them. Um, this was a person that may have been traveling across the ocean, being on a ship, being on a boat. And they kind of like went and came. They were always busy. Um, they may have been something like a merchant, for instance, selling something. Um, for some of you guys, and put this one out there, this could have even been the same sex connection. I'm just saying, it's very really strange. I know, but this is life, guys. Um, they were very busy, they were very uh, energetic, they traveled a lot, they moved around, they were always moving. They didn't sort of relax and stay in one place. And that's that energy. They were always opening up their world and traveling around. You, on the other hand, did not have this at all. You were like totally tied down to 
responsibilities. I just want to see, um, it could this have been a woman's energy as well? Because I am picking up, it could have also been a woman's energy. I want to see why did you have those responsibilities? Because, you know, I'm feeling like this is quite way back. I, feel, I kind of like pick up the time when we kind of like had sailboats and we were sailing across the ocean, you know, finding new countries and whatever we were doing. So let's have a look and see. Yeah, you had, you had too much, your energy in the Nine of Swords energy, if you were not a, a, a man that was ruling over something, you were actually quite wealthy, I can tell you that now, but you had um, maybe become a widow, a widowess. Um, if you were a lady, you were a widow. Um, if you were a man, you were a widowess, you had a lot of pain, you had a lot of th suffering in your life. You met this person when you were grown. You lost somebody when you were very, very young. This is very interesting, guys. You see what I'm saying? You lost somebody when you were very, very young. It's kind of made you look at life as if uh, you were not trusting of it. You were not trusting of life. And this energy comes through here like this. You guys were like almost complete opposites of each other. Um, I want to see now. What was the connection between the two of you? And then we're going to check how it unfolded in this time. What was the what was the interaction between the two of you in a past life? Well, whoa, two cards literally fell. You were lovers in a past life. The two of you were together. There's the two of cups energy. Um, you were totally the opposite of each other. You were like totally the opposites. When one was like very kind of like never had responsibility even if they had responsibility it was on their own terms i kind of like feel for your energy um some of you guys may have actually been like a man and some of you guys were a woman some of you guys who are men now may have been a man in the past it, this energy is very fluent here um it's not very like it has to be this way because i'm picking up different people different scenarios for different people um one thing is for sure um in this connection uh, you had the most responsibility. It's almost like you had to put up a facade about your life. Things that you didn't maybe sometimes want to do, you had to do it. There were times when you had to fake being happy in that lifetime. And they were kind of like very free and easy. Um, when they were happy, they were happy. And then most of the time, I feel like they were pretty much happy. Um, this was a very different energy um, with regards to what you were used to. You did suffer a loss when you were very young, so it's made you feel like you know, love could, can't be yours or you're going to lose love, um, might relate to you even now, like having a deeper fear of, of somebody leaving you all the time. If you've got that energy, it doesn't come from now. You might be wondering, why, do I, why am I so jealous? Why am I so scared? Like if somebody goes out the door, I'm so scared they must, that they get there safely. It's because of what you have experienced here that's affecting this lifetime. Um, this energy as well, I honestly, I picked up, this is very interesting. You see, in past life stuff, it's quite interesting. This energy, your guys love connection. I don't feel like it was something that was uh, in the open. I kind of feel like you guys were secret. You were a secret. This person was not seen as being appropriate for you. So it was kind of like something that happened in secret. It was like your position or what people expected of you. Um, this person did it not match with you. It's almost like, you know, they, they were, like I said, a merchant or they were sailing across the ocean and they were moving up and down and they had to deal with you or they came, you guys had interactions with each other and it, it became love and it was not acceptable because you've got this card of seeking the truth and seeking the truth is the seven of swords energy and um, you guys had to hide the truth about who you were to each other you even see two people in the card and there's a veil that's drawn and it was like opened i don't think you guys got to live the happily ever after i think honestly what i'm picking up on here is that when i see the secret truth was opened this relationship was revealed and i think it had to be put to an end and that is why you might be having a connection with this person now it's like what you could not accomplish here you're trying to accomplish it in this life between these two souls two of cups energy this is a soulmate energy let's see this is going to be very interesting for us to be able to now connect these two and see exactly in this lifetime, what energy do you carry? We might begin to see like a spider's web, the connections between these two different situations. Six of inspiration. You know you've met a soulmate. Oh yes. Without a doubt. Beloveds. You know this person. Six of wands energy. Because this is a soulmate recognition card. 
And sometimes it means after a while we meet. Finally, we're back together. Yeah, is your two of cups energy. Yeah, is the lover's card. You know this person is a soulmate to you. Whoa. Let's see what else comes up here. But for some reason, you can't be with, it, with this person. There's an energy of you waiting for them always. Well, well, well. There you go. There is the connection. Um, you were waiting for them here as well. They would leave and they would go off and be months at, at sea, a year or two and be gone and you would just like be waiting for them to come back and you're still waiting. You're still waiting for them to come back in, to come back and uh, you know be with you and not always leave. They could be repeating that process even now in this lifetime. Let's see their energy. They may even be with somebody else, I'm just saying. Let's have a look and see. Or they have been with somebody else and you may be waiting for them to return to you. Um, yeah, they now they are carrying the Nine of Wands energy, which tells me they've been hurt, they've been overly protective, they've got a Two of Swords. This might even be an ex of yours that you're waiting to come back. Um, you've got the Nine of Wands energy. Um, or somebody, I don't feel like you're with this person, but I feel like you feel this person is your soulmate. They're very much overprotective here, very much overprotective of their heart. I think this is stemming from when you guys could not be together. They also carrying that energy of, I was with this person, you, I understand. They hurt because of what happened here. I did tell you, um, that it helps you to understand why things are happening. I did tell you, I felt like you guys were found out and it was not appropriate. You had such a lot of responsibilities. Even if you were a woman, it was like you had this, I kind of like picture this like home, like this big home and you had to run this home, even if you were a woman. But there was men above you that were not exactly, you were married to them, but you, it was like maybe a brother or a father or some figure that had made you to have to behave in a specific way. And you were the one who was forced to leave them. So now in this lifetime, this is what brings them to be so cautious around you. Even though they don't know this lifetime in their past, but they have soul memory. It leaves you still waiting for them. Um, this is them with the Four of Swords energy. You can see they've been, they hold back sometimes from you. They kind of like pull back their energy. It's almost like you guys are repeating this again and again into this lifetime. And then there's other times that they come back into you again and want to reach out to you again. Um, I want to see the dynamics of it now between the two of you and see what similarities we're going to pick up here. This is a very interesting situation. And um, sometimes you must understand, yeah, there's no equal give and take here. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse position. And you need to trust. Your, your intuition, I feel like it is telling you that there's something special between you and this person. But there's an there's a unbalance that is happening here with the giving and receiving. You know, Spirit Guide just literally said on a soul level, it is like, then it's not revenge. This is karma, by the way. It's not revenge, but on a soul level, it's like they're giving back what they had received from you. Maybe they expected you to totally just walk away from the world that you were in and just be with them. And you didn't. You couldn't. They couldn't understand because they have this full energy. They're just this kind of person who just didn't care. They would be like, just walk away and let's go the world is big what what is what are you afraid of but they didn't grow up in the world that you grew up in with the responsibilities you may have had children you may have had younger brothers or sisters that you felt responsible for or there could have been a whole a lot of people under you that you couldn't just abandon and they could not understand that they felt like you chose that over them and in this lifetime that is why the unbalance is there the Six of Pentacles, the giving and receiving is not balanced because it, they felt like in the past it was not balanced then. And even though they're not doing it vindictively now, it's a karmic energy that is existing between the two of you. Um, the Listen card, which is the High Priestess energy, comes up here. And I think intuitively you know that this person is a soulmate to you. And... Um, you don't understand why is it so unbalanced. If we're a soulmate to each other, why are we not um, making this thing work? And it is because of what has occurred in the past year. Um, one thing I want to ask for you guys now, what is the outcome? 
basically. And um, it's interesting to understand because sometimes these things happen from the past and we want to try to heal it in this current lifetime. But sometimes all we need is to have understanding about why something is happening. Because some things can be healed and some things cannot. And it doesn't mean because you guys are not... Um, getting together and being with each other that you're not breaking the karma though it depends what peace you make with the situation and the deeper understanding of why things occur so let's have a look and see what spirit guide says about outcome here between the two of you yeah if you guys want to have if you guys had to ooh, i've got cards that came out for you you see currently right now they still that person they still that person um for them, literally, I feel like the healing has got to happen mainly on their side. Even on yours, they this person. they the screen of one's energy now, which tells me that they're kind of like still living the way they lived in the past in this lifetime. It's almost like showing you that they're still that person. But I feel like they've taken it to the extreme in this lifetime. In this lifetime, they got commitment phobia with regards, especially to you. And... Um, they even going, I just want to be this person. I just want to be this free and easy person. They may even be a person that's always on the go, always going somewhere. When you look, they're in another city. When you look, they left the country. When you look, they come back. Or they're always going to friends. They're always busy. That is this energy. Um, they kind of like reliving this energy. If you guys, it's so interesting because you've got two tens here. And you've got the Queen of Cups in the reverse position. The What is preventing you guys from getting together? It's laying here. What is the hope it's laying here? So the Queen of the, the, the Ten of Swords energy is the pain that is associated with this past energy. And it has caused the love to die. We are looking at the past now. It has caused the love to die. The pain of the heartbreak that happened between two the two of you um, caused that love to die. And in this lifetime. This person took on the attitude of this person, but more of a negative aspect of it. And if you guys, you guys had this opportunity to fix it with the death card being there, literally the death card, after you literally died in this lifetime, reborn again, you have the death card, the new beginning. Um, that could have lit literally gotten to the Ten of Cups energy. But I know, um, associated from what I'm seeing here, the attitude, the main attitude belongs to their energy as well um, which if they cannot shift this energy of the Queen of Wands energy it will be impossible to get it to this place because to get it to this place you really need to be able to heal with the karma is these two cards the hope is these two cards how do I get it here you got to heal that energy and um, can they do it that is the thing but currently this is your under this is the understanding of what is going on between the two of you on a soul level you know that you are really connected to this person but for some reason they're behaving in a very unfair way it is because in the past lifetime they feel like you left them or you didn't choose them so that's what they currently are doing as well. They're very defensive in this lifetime. And I'm hoping that this understanding of why they behave the way that they behave will make you see past just, oh, they're such a bad person, to go deeper on a spiritual level to understand what makes people do funny things that they do. It is because of the hurt and the pain that they've experienced in this past lifetime um, that is currently manifesting in this one. So um, with the energy being the way that it is now, I honestly feel like they will continue doing what they're doing unless some huge major shift can take place and they can like literally adjust or even go through a healing of their own. And that is what we're going to check in into the extended to be able to see will they be able to heal themselves so that they will be open and ready to be back with you guys do have soulmate energy just because there's a soulmate energy doesn't mean it can be fixed it depends on the soul's evolution and that's what i want to check into i want to check into how this person what did they learn did they pick up negative things or they're carrying a negative energy or positive energy honestly with you i feel like you uh, you did I have a deeper understanding because the high priestess comes in here with regards to what you understand But I feel like on their side because I feel like this is their energy. They're not getting that. They're not getting it. They're just having this 
you know, when we kind of understand, oh, I actually think I did this to somebody in a past lifetime. This is why they react like this to me in this lifetime. It helps us to heal things. And that's the aim of the reading. So thank you guys for coming in. I hope it's a deeper understanding of what is going on. I'm very curious to see what Spirit Guide will actually advise you guys moving forward to see if this can be healed, this karmic that you have. It's not a karmic connection. All connections are karmic, I'm just saying. And um, it is a soulmate with the lovers and the two of cups being there. But can you guys heal it in this lifetime? Or is it just an energy of you guys needing or you needing to make peace with it? We shall see in the extended. Thank you so much for coming in, guys. I'm wishing you all the best moving forward. And have an amazing rest of your day, wherever you are. Bye.